Zero and lift off. We are wrapping up the last of the vehicle test and uh, get ready to make it a real spacecraft here before too long. It's gonna be a big push, but that's kinda of how the end game goes. We try to get things ready and every last thing has to be done and done right. It takes a lot of time and a lot of effort to do it. We have a lot of work to do in the next two months because although you, uh, the vehicle is in Florida and we've, we've stacked it together just in the last couple of days, uh, the rover has got its rocket jet pack on it and the jet pack and the rover together has been, have been put in the back shell of the vehicle and we're, we're, right now we're putting the cruise stage on top. Uh, in some sense, um, th that process is actually pretty straightforward. Uh, the challenge we have here in Pasadena is finishing up all our testing. All of our testing on the, in our test bed and on the equipment and going through and looking all the problems we had in our test program, make sure that, that all the problems we found were all solved and that we know what we're gonna do and how we're gonna fly it. Three, two, one, fire. Everyone stand by. Testing is a lot like um, renovating your house. Uh, you can enumerate some very large, obvious things to do, and then when you do them, it becomes clear that there are some second order, secondary things to do. And then when you do those, you discover third order, fourth order, ad infinitum. We require our system to be able to be robust, to survive a number of different kinds of faults, um, both uh, internal faults, things breaking on the spacecraft, or um, uh, loss of sun data coming into the sun sensor, a variety of, of unfortunate circumstances uh, we try to make our design robust to. But not only have we driven the rover, we've moved its arm, put it all through its paces, but it's been in a thermal vacuum chamber and kept very cold. It, parts of it have been on through in a centrifuge. We've done drop tests, pull tests, drive tests, load tests, stress tests. Um, it's just an amazing amount of testing this vehicle has gone through. We've done shorting tests. We've taken the vehicle and shorted electronics. We've looked to see that the radio has all worked together and that the rover doesn't interact with itself in bad ways. We've tried every way of operating in the vehicle using the software, literally thousands and thousands of hours of software testing. It's been just a, an amazing several years, really, of constant testing and development, finding problems, fixing those problems, and going on to the next problem. The system is sufficiently complex that anything you change has to be done with great care and caution, um, and then tested um, thoroughly because of the potential for side effects, unintended um, consequences of the fix. Uh, the first uh, rule of engineering uh, this late in the game is do no harm. This is a very, very complicated beast. This is by far the most complex thing we've ever built. It's almost hard to imagine how complex it is. And in fact, if you get, a, get close up to the vehicle, you can see the richness of detail. And in fact, this vehicle almost has fractal-like complexity. The more you look at it, the more details that you uncover. And yet to make sure when you're building this thing and testing it and designing it, that those interactions are well understood and that, you, and that there is nothing about the system that will, will interfere with itself. And uh, this has been a, a real challenge that we've had. And so every minute of the time we've had, we've been using that time with uh, incredible intensity. So we'll, hopefully we'll take a big breath in, the, in, the, in mid November before we launch and be able to relax and let, her, let this vehicle off the ground and finally say goodbye. I think she's ready to go.